Capricorn. This is your April 2024 tarot reading. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for April 2024. In love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for April 2024. In love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for April 2024. In love. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Capricorn, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mention it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you, Capricorn. This is you. This is your partner. So, Capricorn, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For April 2024, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Capricorn, is the chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So listen, Capricorn could be dealing with a cancer, but someone here is wanting to make some type of move. Clarify the chariot for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify the chariot. A Capricorn and their partner. Clarify the chariot. For Capricorn and their partner. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Capricorn, someone here could be passing their own final verdict and judgment. Someone could be asking for forgiveness in a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify judgment for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify judgment for Capricorn and their partner. It is clarified with the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, someone here could be pissed and they may have an axe to grind here. So listen, Capricorn, <clears throat> because of the tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe, mind games and manipulation and someone being spiteful, someone may make a judgment call to just move on and move forward away from this relationship. However, someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance for the mind games and manipulation, the tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe, and hoping that you guys can move forward. Capricorn, you have the Six of Swords. You have the Nine of Pentacles. You have the Four of Wands. Your partner has justice. Your partner has the world. And your partner has the Three of Swords. Oh, goodness. Hmm. So, 
Capricorn. The mutual point of interest in what's on both of you guys' minds is someone may be making a judgment call to just move forward away from the tit for tat tug of war, toe to toe, mind games, and manipulation, and the fact that someone was spiteful and vengeful. However, someone here could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance for this tit for tat tug of war, toe to toe, mind games, and manipulation, and being spiteful and hoping that you guys can move forward. Capricorn, you have the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Capricorn, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Six of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Six of Swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Eight of Wands, Aries, Leora, Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is a fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face-to-face -face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Now Capricorn, listen, you could be taking off fast here. NASCAR fast here. You could also tell me that you guys had a heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another. And you're just wanting to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. That's your judgment. You could also tell me that you guys did have a heated discussion or argument, but maybe you're hoping that you guys can put it behind you, okay? And move away to a place of peace and harmony together. Maybe forgiveness here. However, you can tell me that someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. And this is the reason why you want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Now, you can want to move away from the relationship because they were communicating passionately with someone else and being intimate with someone else, or you're moving towards this person that you're being passionate with, okay? You could also tell me that, yes, it was you communicating passionately online with someone else and being intimate with someone else, but you're still wanting forgiveness and hoping that you guys can put it behind you. Capricorn, you have the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're standoff of shunning and setting boundaries with this person, or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. So Capricorn, you can tell me that your standoff is shunning, setting boundaries like, yeah, I just want to be single. Just leave me alone. I just want to be single. Or you're telling me you're wanting to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here because you don't want to be single? Capricorn, you have the four of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. 
So listen, Capricorn, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Clarify the Four of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Four of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Four of Wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is She Who Knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition, but you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Capricorn. Clarify the high priestess. For Capricorn, clarify the high priestess. For Capricorn, <clears throat> it is clarified with the six of wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Capricorn, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. This can be victory and success. Also an announcement being made. This is a loaded sentence here. Yeah, I don't see it yet. It po it's possible. You can tell me that, you know, they're making an announcement here about commitment or the relationship and you're using your intuition. You can tell me that and you guys has already established commitment, that something was brought to your attention and you're not speaking to this person or something was brought to your attention and you're using your intuition on what you should do. Could also tell me that Something is being brought to your attention intuitively. Do you feel like they're in a commitment? You're like, get away from me. You're not single. Or did you keep some type of secret here about you being in a relationship or a commitment and it's coming out is being brought to their attention and you're trying to defend yourself. This is the reason why I, I'm claiming single. Single is my status. What? Capricorn, listen, as it stands right now, your judgment may be to just move out, move on and move away from this relationship, some type of travel or moving or leaving. You're like, no, I just want to be single. Listen, your partner has justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or your partner saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or your partner's dealing with something in the justice system. So listen, Capricorn could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner could tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. Your partner could tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or they're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Capricorn's partner. Clarify justice for Capricorn's partner. Clarify justice for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning and a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Capricorn, new love, new start to love or a blessing here. And your partner could tell me that, you know, something wasn't fair. Something wasn't balanced. Something wasn't just because someone had new love here. Now, I don't know if this is coming out. And you guys already relation already established relationship here. Your partner could tell me that they're getting their just due here. With some type of blessing. I 
I hope your partner's not coming with some type of vigilante justice here and has new love. But maybe they're just wanting to come in and right a wrong with you and start new. Or they want to have this new era in love. Going to the justice of the peace here. Because they could be making an announcement and you're ignoring them. Or are you using your intuition? They're like, oh, no, I want to be single. Capricorn, your partner has the world. So your partner may be at a distance from you, either emotionally or physically at a distance. Your partner may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle. Closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Capricorn, your partner could tell me that there's distance between you guys. Emotional distance, a geographical distance. Your partner could tell me that a cycle is closing out completely. Or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the world for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the world for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the chariot again. So, like I said, it could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the chariot. For Capricorn's partner. Clarify the chariot. For Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity. But she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leora Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. And this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So listen, Capricorn, your partner could tell me they have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. So listen, your partner could tell me that there's a cutting off, a closing of the cycle and moving forward because of some type of heated discussion or argument here. Your partner could tell me that there's a cutting off and a closing of the cycle because someone started a passionate new beginning somewhere. Do they feel like it was a fair balance of just that you have new love and you're like, you know what, get out my face, I'm single. I don't care what you say, I'm single. <laughs> what is this? Hmm. Your partner could also tell me that they're wanting to start a new cycle here. File some type of legal documentation or paperwork, something that they're initiating here. Are they initiating something at the justice of the peace with this new era in love, speaking on commitment here? Wanting to make an announcement and here you are like, uh, <laughs> Capricorn, your partner has a three of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing your partner heartbreak. So Capricorn, your partner is telling me that they're hurt. Now they could be hurt because their feelings are hurt with some type of words that were exchanged here. Or your partner is telling me that they're hurt because there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the three of swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the three of swords for Capricorn's partner. Capricorn, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the king of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. 
This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now, your partner could be receiving love messages and an apology. They could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of cups for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of cups. For Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. Oh, boy. So Capricorn, your partner could tell me that they're all up in their head fantasizing. Your partner could tell me there's some confusion. Your partner could tell me that they need to make a choice. Your partner could tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Now listen, you know, your partner could tell me that you hurt them, but they're all up in their head fantasizing that you apologize to them. But they're not letting you see them sweat. Your partner could tell me that they're hurt because they found love messages and heard the news of you sharing love with those other options over there. Your partner could tell me that they have a great deal of love for you and they're wanting to apologize for their lies and illusions, their other options that cause you heartbreak here. So is it your partner's trying to come in and right a wrong here and wanting to start this new era in love? Hoping that you guys can come back around against one another and you're like, you know what? No, I just I, I just want to get away from the situation. I just want to leave. So I feel like, you know, there's been some type of tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe, mind games and manipulation. But your partner is wanting forgiveness and a second chance here so that you guys can move forward and start this new, new, like new, new over here. However, your partner could tell me that their judgment is to just move on because of the mind games and manipulation and the tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe that's going on with you. Because I don't know if you have to answer whether or not you're in a relationship or in some type of commitment and you're out here perpetrating a fraud like you're single. Listen, Capricorn, I'm going to take a look at the twin flames exposed for you and your partner. You guys, support the channel with links in the description and cash app for donations. Thank you. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I pretend to have my stuff together, but I have a lot of baggage. I pretend to have my stuff together, but I have a lot of baggage. What else for Capricorn and their partner? What else? For Capricorn and their partner. And it says karmic. Is this a karmic relationship here? I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Capricorn. And it says, I couldn't let you get close to me. I couldn't let you get close to me. Hmm. I'm going to also take a look at the Lover's Oracle for both you and your partner, Capricorn. And it says, 
soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically now if this is a karmic relationship then this is not your soulmate and you're not theirs but it says your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this believe this believe it believe it and they will manifest physically Hey, Capricorn. This is your April 2024 tarot reading. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.